character, Emma. Well, the names are sure Kiki. And that's the extent of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, this is my friend, Emma. We're friends since university. Do you want to talk about how we met? How did we meet? <laughs> okay, so I first I saw her on Instagram and I thought she's like the hottest girl ever And then I follow her on Instagram and she followed me back You know what? I think you messaged me asking Are you looking for a roommate? And actually I well, did Wow, I shot my shot and, to her And I did because like my one of my roommates was leaving on a uh, co-op So yeah. and Kiki moved in and then we were best friends yeah. ever since <laughs> This is our story So today we're gonna talk about like girl questions Like questions that you're probably too afraid to ask I have a list of things that we're gonna talk about and we're gonna go from light to heavy. Light topic to a heavier topic. Ever drinking to mm -hmm. loosen up, <laughs> loosen up the ends a little bit. First one is tampon. <laughs> These are the questions I think a lot of girls would have. Yeah, I, we've been there before, so we just want to share our experience yeah. to help other girls. And I think the fact that we kind of like not grew up together, but we met when we were like yeah, when I was like nineteen maybe or I was yeah, eighteen. Yeah, pretty and I, young too. Yeah, we were both and young. We've known each other for like five years or something, and we've yeah. grown a lot in the a last lot, five years. Lot. You know what? Talking about tampon, you're the first person who ever taught me how to use tampon. Are you serious? Yeah, you remember that time I was in the bathroom and you you're outside and I was trying to put this tampon in because I I just wanted to try yeah. it. And you're you're teaching me how to use it uh, on the other side of the door. Yeah. You're, you're like bending down. <laughs> yeah, you're just telling me what to do. And I was just like, ah! I actually I actually remember that because um, yeah. you like never used tampons before and mm -hmm. I I can't when it's that time of the month I, I gotta use them because I don't like pads. Yeah. So I know a lot of Chinese girls they don't use tampons, they use pads, but girl, you need to listen to me. Tampon is like the best <laughs> thing ever. I think it's like the greatest in invention for for women. I mean pads are so uncomfortable and you basically like your vagina is just like bathing in blood. Bro, yeah. how gross is that? I can never ever go back to pads. So were you like, like after tampon, everything's just so easy and clean and you don't feel it. I know a lot of girls who are afraid of tampons because you're scared of the idea to putting things into your body. This is this like a cultural thing, like Yeah, it is. Like, like a lot of China. Chinese girls don't use tampons. Okay. That's pretty new for them. So, so if you're white with... and you're watching this and you're thinking, why the fuck are they talking about that? <laughs> Yeah. Back off! You don't you don't understand mm -hmm. the difference. Like yeah. Kiki was like twenty three the first time she tried one, or like twenty two. I don't remember yeah, how old you were. Probably. You know, because it's like something that wasn't taught and wasn't mm -hmm. like. And actually, when I was living in Indonesia, you couldn't buy tampons. It was like really hard to find them. And it is yeah. Back thing. then in China, I can't. I can't it's find super it hard to find yeah. so it's not it's not a common thing in other parts of the world like you might think Yeah, make sure you get a tampon that has like a inserting device Yeah, the plastic thing that you can like push the tampon in that one is a lot better than just the tampon Because yeah. you don't know how to put that in you need that like inserting device is a lot easier <laughs> It's a lot easier with that and you just push it to the end and it's just there and you don't feel it you don't that's the thing people are yeah you don't you don't it. feel it because like the entrance of our vagina is very narrow but once you pass that there's a lot of space in there and you, once you put it in you don't feel anything yeah you will feel it if you don't put it high enough you don't have don't be nervous to put it high enough like it won't get lost yeah. up there like there's the string to yeah there's the string another device that um i recently started using for um my menstruation is a diva cup insert picture here <laughs> And it's on my head? <laughs> on your head. No, it's honestly a really weird... I know why that is. It's like a cup. Up. I, I'm not too sure about this because it's not sucking the blood. It, you put it out and then... You pour it out. Yeah, so it's like oh, it's like a little... That's so weird. It's a little cup that you put inside of you. I and you wash it every time. Just, yeah, it's, I, I don't it's weird. It's, it's weird, but it's like more ecological because yeah. you're not... It's definitely better than for uh, for the environment. It's better for the environment because you're not wasting so many tampons. <laughs> okay, birth control. What are you using for birth control? Okay, so for birth control, it's actually a funny story because when I was in, in high school, like my parents were not down to like, help me get birth control or something like that. And I like last year of high school, I had a boyfriend and all stuff. And I like wanted to get birth control, but I couldn't ask my parents. So I had to like ask my best friend and she had a bunch that she brought from Denmark with her because she's from Denmark. So she like gave me her birth control. Pills? Her pills, yeah. Mm -hmm. And like I, I just started taking them and then my mom found it like the next day and she freaked out and started crying. <laughs> she started crying yeah, because and you started to have sex? Oh my god. Well, it was like... <laughs> It's really restrictive when you have that kind of like mentorship from parents. Like, it shouldn't be an issue. Like, it, you know, like I, it should be something that's like acceptable. Like, it shouldn't be, you shouldn't be ashamed to want to start birth control when you're like at the right age, when you're comfortable, you know? Like, you shouldn't have to hide. Yeah. Well, um, my story is I started using it when I was like 19. I got a pill from, from school. It's like ugh, 21 pills a month that you take it every day at the 
about a certain time. I remember when I first using it, I was having like bad side effects. Like I was very emotional. I was not feeling well. And then I talked to my doctor about it and she said, oh, maybe the like the dosage of the hormone is not estrogen. right for you. We switched to some, something else, maybe something lighter. And I, and I felt a lot better. Yeah. Now I'm still using it. So if you're not on some birth control pills or some, you know, some other uh, ways, definitely use condom. All right. You're right. Bro, I feel like there's so many girls getting pregnant. I mean, for white people, maybe it's better because you have better sex education. But in China, girls just don't protect them well enough. Like, there are a lot of girls in China, they get pregnant because they don't know shit about birth control. They think that if the guy pull out, it will not happen. But that's not true. It's mm -hmm. very no risky. Sex education. That's the issue. Yeah, with it's very risky. You, you need to, like, protect yourself. You either have, like, you know, birth control pills or some other things. Or you at least you need to use condom. Don't just be, like, you know, pulling out does not work. You don't want to. You don't want to take the risk. Abortion is really bad for our body, and, mm -hmm. and spiritually, mentally, physically, it's bad. Don't Very get bad. pregnant. <laughs> and you get pregnant, you will die. Not that, but like, don't get like you know unexpected pregnancy. You know. Okay, yeah. So this is what I'm taking. Look, it's like 21 orange pills, and the last um line is there. It's just sugar. It doesn't have anything in it. It just, you basically just take it every day. Uh, today is. Do you take the sugar pills too? No, I don't. Yeah, it's just like no point, right? No point, yeah. And I remember it. I I just don't forget. Yeah. yeah. So today's Saturday. I'm gonna take it. I take it every like. You take it at this time. Every right? day at 10 p.m. Uh, after this week, then my period will come in this week, and then I'll just take another. Is it like always scheduled? Like it's you... very scheduled. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Also, it helps with your uh, like a period schedule. It will make it very regular. Yeah, that's yeah. true. And next, we're going to talk about self-care. Okay, self-care. How do you take care of yourself? Well, self-care is definitely, especially these days, something that's really important to like take time for yourself because I think everyone's mental health has been put to the test. Mental health is the same thing as, as physical health. You know, everyone gets sick sometimes. You know, everyone gets the flu. Just in the same way, everyone gets mentally sick sometimes. You know, it's it's a normal thing and it should be looked at in the same way. Um, is there some things that you do like normally to help you feel better to take care of yourself? Like I practice yoga and, and meditation pretty regularly. What do you do as meditation? I know it's not just sitting there. Yeah, how it's, does that work? When I wake up, I'll come to my living room and find a comfortable place to sit. I'll sit in my on my couch or like on the floor in like a crow's pose. Or not a crow's pose, sorry, with my cr legs crossed. Basically, I'll either listen to like vibrational sounds that I can focus on. They have like different frequencies that it's like a cleansing energy or I'll sit in silence with the timer for the timer for like 15, 10 to 15 minutes. You basically sit and you calm your mind into a place where yes, you're still going to have thoughts that pop in and out, but you just basically observe those thoughts. You don't become the thoughts. I basically just try to like clear my mind. And if I'm, if I have a thought that comes in like, oh, I forgot to respond to this person. Oh, oh, I'm worried about this. Instead of just like actually worrying about that thought, I'll just notice that thought be like, okay, there's that thought, but that thought is not serving me right now. When I like shoot the thought away, then I'm like sitting in silence and you just keep basically battling yourself. Like it's like playing tennis with your like thoughts, like keep hitting your thoughts away okay. for as long as you can. I thought meditation is you sit there and you breathe and you try to focus on your breathe. Just be very present. Like yeah. you want to feel how the air comes into your lawn and how it comes yeah. out and what your feet feels like and what it feels like to sit on the ground and everything around you. Yeah. You just want to feel them. That That's exactly it. That's how meditation is, right? Yeah. Focusing on, on breath is mm -hmm. what, what I'll do to like center myself. So I'm just focusing on like, yeah, just really focusing feel... on like on your breath, but like yeah. keeping you keep your eyes closed because you're really just trying to sit in silence. The, the end goal after I finish meditation or sometimes I'll, I'll focus on, on like a thought of gratitude. When I open my eyes, I feel like, Whoa, I, I see my apartment so differently. I'm really, I notice everything. I feel super present and I feel super happy. It like makes it like lifts a weight off my shoulders. And for the rest of the day, it does give me more energy and helps me focus. So it helps with my ADHD. And you know, there's a lot of studies on meditation and it, it does actually like, it helps focus and it helps. I think it definitely does. <laughs> I take a bath every week. Mm -hmm. I think that really calms me down. And physically, it actually is good for your body because it helps your blood to flow everywhere. And you scrub the dirt from like the cells on your body and you get like, you know, cleaner. And I also uh, started to work out. Before working out was so hard for me because I'm really, really lazy. Yeah. And this is how I start. So I don't push myself to, to be like, okay, I just do this, do this, do this. From the start, I was just like, every time... I feel like working out and I'll work out. I wasn't really hard on myself. Yeah. So yeah. from the start, I probably don't work on much, right? Yeah. But once I get the flow going, yeah. I actually want to work on more. Yeah. 
I it's actually start to work out every day. Don't be so hard on yourself. Just take it easy. Take it easy. Okay, next is body hair. So for hair down there, I get Brazilian wax. I mean, it fucking hurts, but you'll get used to it. The, the more you do it, like the new hair that grow out, they're not as strong as mm -hmm. before. They'll be like lighter. I used to shave, but mm. shave doesn't work for me. Because mm -mm. it has, once have like a ingrown hair, mm -hmm. that's fucking disgusting. Mm -hmm. It looks really gross. I mean, I don't feel anything, but it just looks weird. It's, it's like a bump there, and it's red. I have it's, really bad in growing hair. Yeah, it's terrible. So try not to shave as much. I mean, if you don't have that problem, but I just don't want you to shave, and then you have that problem. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It can be really bad, and you don't know how to fix that. I don't know how to fix that. I started investing in laser everywhere. The results have been amazing. Like, <laughs> I've got no armpit hair. And, like, I was oh. a hairy bitch before. Like, oh, she yeah. Knows. She I was used to have, like, thick, <laughs> I was, like, like hair. Like, just... The first time I saw that, I was like... <laughs> You look like a man. I've never saw a girl with like leg hair that thick, that dark. I mean, it's she's not lying. Like it is what <laughs> it is. You know, a lot of girls. I got scared. Oh my God, don't say I got scared. Because I used to like sh shave everything. I would go back to thick as fuck. Okay, after you shave, it just gets darker and thicker. Oh, yeah, it just gets darker and thicker, and it's just a nightmare. But waxing is expensive. Laser is even more expensive. But once you get to a place where you can afford laser, I think you do just it. need to get laser. Yeah, I I, I just started getting laser because I I have some hair on my leg too, and I have a lot of hair here. But now they're uh, it's shaved, so I feel like my uh, arm looks like lighter now. If you get laser, you you will just look cleaner. Yeah, you look better. I mean, we definitely suggest that if and you, you have the money. That's hair. why we need to get rich because we want to keep this beauty going. Beauty is fucking expensive. Being expensive. a woman is expensive. Yeah. Like laser guys, <laughs> trust. Me, it's worth it. Spend that, spend mm -hmm. that money on it. Fucking Agreed. save up. Don't buy yourself a purse or shoes. Take care of yourself. Buy your that body, your hair, your skin first before any material things like a bag or shoe. <laughs> Coming from you though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I do spend a lot of money on shoes and bags, but I also spend a lot of money on my, you know, body and hair and everything mm -hmm. on my face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So laser is the way to go. Next, body confidence. Talking about how to be confident mm -hmm. in your body. body. Have a fucking drink, all right? Yeah, that will really lose you up. It'll. Okay, the question is how to be confident in your body during sex. Yeah, someone asked. She asked on her on her Instagram. But I questions about the video, <laughs> and she got the questions. Mhm. Mm <laughs> Both of us are pretty confident during sex. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Here's the tip. If you're engaging in the act of sexual intercourse with somebody, that person is damn lucky to be with you, you know? I'm not gonna lie, like, I'll sometimes be like, oh, fuck, like, like I'm bloated as Look, shit. Look, everyone has imperfections. Like, I have, like, no tits. Ah! Right? Like, I have really small boobs, but I'm still, like... You just gotta know, you know, if, if you're naked for somebody, that person is having a good time, you know? Mm -hmm. Also, by the way, like, everyone probably feels the same insecurities. Honestly, your insecurity just, like, makes it more obvious. If you don't care about it, he's not gonna care about it. If you are like, <laughs> then he's gonna feel it. He's yeah, gonna sense true. it, and it's he will start looking, you know? If you're confident, it's gonna affect him, too. Like, he will see you differently. Confidence, confident. confidence is key. Like, honestly, body confidence, the advice is just be fucking confident. Like, even if you're not fake it till you make it, baby, like, yeah. I don't know what to say. I, like, <laughs> yeah, I think you say it pretty well. You know, I mean, I don't feel the most, like, I don't have the most perfect body. I don't have anything perfect. I literally don't. think you have the perfect body. Well, I don't think that, but, you know, during... Yeah, see, into... even the most perfect person that I know, she still feel <laughs> insecure about herself about something so i mean it's normal to feel insecure but everyone does but yeah. you know in those you just moments, gonna face your imperfections you're gonna accept them you're gonna think imperfection is normal it's mm -hmm. and those in those heated moments by the way don't yeah. think about your body think about your performance yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like don't think about your body think about like, how everything feels feels connection like make mm -hmm. it make it steamy like make it lovey like make love baby you know like, <laughs> think about the the moment like don't think about your body because it'll just ruin it then you're just awkward you know yeah it was just like that if, if you don't want to take just your... be present with that person mm -hmm. don't otherwise don't, otherwise don't, don't take your clothes off you know otherwise keep your clothes on seriously it's not worth it like yeah. if it's if you're not comfortable and you're and if you're feeling super insecure and you're just like not comfortable with that person, then you should. Maybe take, you're not ready. Then you're not ready and don't take your clothes off for that person in the first place. Like that's never it's that it, it's not worth it. Trust me, it's never worth it. Just I prefer to have mm -hmm. be in love with somebody yeah. if I'm in that moment. And if you're with someone, that person better be like fucking appreciating you. 
if yeah. he's not giving you that appreciation, if he does not, if he just respects who you are, he's not the right one. You know, and by the way, you know, there's so many people in this world, and if you have a partner, they better appreciate you, yeah. just like you appreciate them. You know, if you ha the way you feel about your partner, expect the same um, feeling in return. You know, if you love your partner, no matter what their flaws are, whatever the fuck. If you don't even notice them, then expect them, them to be like that towards you. If you look at your partner and you have issues with them, well, then it's yeah. probably going to be reflected. Then it's just not a good match. Yeah. If that guy is like putting you down, is telling you that something's wrong with you, move on. He's not. He's not the one. The he's not the one for you. Straight from the underground. <laughs> In those intimate moments, you're doing it for you. Okay, don't do it for somebody else. Do it. for Yeah, you. don't try to like impress anyone. Yeah, don't do whatever makes you feel good get with someone if it's for you you know don't be with someone if it's for them or just because you feel pressure you know so mm -hmm. if it's something that you want and put it's yourself right, first exactly put your damn self first sis. Mm -hmm.